we've got this really nice Triumph Tiger XRX low. It's a 68 plate. And the mileage is 21,082. This is the final walk around video of the bike just to show you around the bike. Show you anything we found in the valley or any extras that's on the bike. Just keep in mind it is the low version, so if you're a bit short in the leg, it's absolutely perfect. Or even if you just want a bit more confidence on the road, they are a great bike. They do everything. It's got a clear screen on there, which is adjustable up and down. It does have a couple of swirl marks, where it's been cleaned over the years, but overall, nice condition down to the headlights, all really nice, there's a tiny tiny little stone chip on the left hand side one, overall condition is nice, you've got the Triumph spotlights, and as you can see it's got two whopping big horns there as well, front legs are nice, also has the radiator guard, front wheel on the right hand side, in nice condition. There's the odd little mark and tyre changes, but nothing out of the ordinary. All the mud guards good. Tyres are in nice condition. To the headers, headers are really nice. It does have the owl exhaust on there. I'll get back to that in a minute. It's got SW Motec crash protection. Really nice condition, there's no marks or anything like that on them anywhere. Oh, the engine bay is nice. There's no marks on there, as well you can see. Oh, the framework's nice. Great levers in nice, nice condition, as are the pegs, as well as the rear pegs. That little leads there just to, for us in the shop to keep the bikes on charge but you can purchase one of them separately with the bike. Like I say, it's got a really nice arrow exhaust, the carbon tip, just gives it a bit more of a raspy sound. Swing arm's nice, let's have a padded stand bobbins. Rear wheels are in nice condition. Let's have the tyres. Top box is a Shad SH39. Again, nice condition. Does have the odd tiny little mark in places, as you can see there. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. The side cases are Epco and Beco. Really nice to put on and remove. So it's been key in there. Off. That's it. It's a nice little tidy bracket. It does have the Triumph Comfort seat, front and rear. Uh, front and rear, just to give you that little bit more comfort. Also has a RNG fender extender on the rear. Chain sprockets are nice. All the framework this side on nice condition. As is the engine case on this side. Again, SW Motec crash protection. There's no marks on there or anything like that. It's all nice. Left hand side of the front wheel. Again, nice condition. We'll have the odd mark from tyre changes, but overall, really nice. The seat's nice, does have a couple, my focuses, light marks from getting on and off the bike. But that's just general wear. Seat's nice as well, no real marks on the, the main seat. Tank's in nice condition. Let's also have a tank ring on there for a tank bag, no tank bag included. General condition, the tank is nice. Let's also have aftermarket levers on both sides, really nice condition. While the dash does as it should. Also comes with the Garmin sat nav, which is on a Evotech 
sat nav mode, as you can see there. Right hand hand guard has a couple of scuffs there, probably from getting in and out of the garage. A lot of tight space, mirrors are nice. On both sides. A really, really nice Toro ready to go. If you'd like to know any more about the bike or would like to come view the bike, it's at Rider Motorcycles, Castle Road, Sittingbourne.